tech careers are exploding in popularity, promising not just jobs, but gateways to innovation, to influence. Here's the twist. Is the once beloved computer science degree still your golden ticket? Or it has become a relic in today's fast-paced moving technology? Stick around as we decode the myths and the realities and discover together whether I wasted spending five years at engineering school or was it all worth it? My name is Ilyas, I'm a senior solutions architect. Let's do this. Rewind to a decade ago and computer science degrees were the rocket fuel for aspiring tech moguls. Last year alone, a huge 42% of MIT seniors majored in computer science, nearly double from a decade earlier. But there's a catch. It's not just about passion for technology anymore, right? So why this surge? Well, let's be real. With the rise of tech giants like Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, the tech industry is where the money is at. So it's only natural that a desire for a career in tech has never been stronger. As the tide of students turn into tsunami, universities find themselves under siege. And it's really not just about building more classes. I mean, we could do a lot of this stuff online nowadays. It's actually more about reshaping computer science education because it's no longer just about coding, isn't it? Nowadays, degrees mix computer science with fields like urban studies, like biology, and even music. And with the rise of AI and cybersecurity and data science, the curriculum is evolving faster than you can say hello world. To manage this demand, universities cannot afford to be reactive. They are innovating. They're creating dedicated colleges of computing, which sounds as futuristic as it is necessary. But whether this is a solution or it's just a band-aid on a broken system is still up for debate. Because the real tea here is whether these shiny new colleges can adapt quickly enough to keep up with the Kardashians, uh, I mean, uh, uh, to keep up with the ever-evolving tech industry. I mean, no one wanna study for years only to find out that their skills are about as relevant as a floppy disk at a hackathon. And look, as someone who did their master's degree in distributed computing, I've witnessed this firsthand. For example, I have spent two whole years studying architectures like CORBA, the Common Object Request Broker Architectures, protocols like DCOM, like SOAP, only to realize once I graduated that the industry has moved on to a more modern technologies like RESTful APIs and microservices. I've actually never used any of these technologies in my professional career and never ever has anyone asked me about them in a job interview. By the way, this was back in 2010, and even then, I remember some confused glances in the classroom when one of the professors pulled up a slide deck that was already six years old. So I can't but wonder, was this an isolated case of a professor being out of touch with the industry? Or is this a systematic issue of universities being too big, too slow to adapt to the rapid pace of technological change. Now, the rise of specialized computing colleges is significant. They're making computing as prestigious as law or engineering. Their promise is simple. They want to get your job ready faster and for less money. So I head out to explore the subject by talking to colleges, professors, and graduates, well, None of the colleges in Montreal I reached out to returned my emails. Mind you, I'm not a journalist, you know, just a guy with a camera and a microphone who makes YouTube videos as a hobby. But I did manage to get some insights from professors and graduates. We were taught 3G security at a time where LTE and uh, 5G were already in the phase of implementation. This eventually caused us to not know about the technologies in the day. Uh, the exploits that we were doing, the encryption technologies that we were learning, uh, were somewhat old and archaic. This is Omer Aziz Khan. He is a privacy engineer and a professor at Concordia University. Currently, I'm a lead privacy engineer, and in the past, I used to be a senior se uh, security engineer. So I asked Omer, what does he think the solution to this problem should be? We need to bring in a new phase of professors, a new phase of people uh, teaching the technology of today. 
and also ensuring that students that graduate understand how to grasp onto concepts fairly quickly and then improve of them, uh, on them as needed. So there are basically two points of view that stood out to me. On one hand, critics of specialized colleges argue that the focus on technical skills come at the expense of the broader education. On the other hand, proponents believe that the specialized curriculum is necessary to keep up with the rapid pace of technological change. If you think universities and specialized colleges are the only options, think again. There's a third player in the game, and this player is shaking things up like a snow globe in a toddler's hand. A new player has entered the game, boot camps. Now these are like the fast food of education. They're quick, they're convenient, but sometimes missing the nutritional value of a full educational meal. Seriously though, boot camps are intensive, short-term programs that focus on teaching specific skills like coding with a specific framework, data analysis using a specific tool or, you know, digital marketing strategies. And because of this, they are revolutionizing the way we think about education with a simple promise, get your job ready in a matter of months. So let me save you the Googling I went through and tell you how they stack up against traditional universities. Let's start with universities. In the pros corner, we have a comprehensive education. You know, the, the broad-based, well-rounded education is like a Swiss army knife for your brain. You're not just learning to code. You're also sharpening your critical thinking. You're gaining a broad understanding that can open many doors. There's accreditation and recognition because these degrees come with a badge of recognition that's respected worldwide. It's like having an exclusive club membership that can really help you get in your foot in the door. I got my master's degree from a university in France and it opens door for me in Canada where I currently live. Networking opportunities because it's not just what you learn, it's who you meet. And I love it when I'm looking at jobs at LinkedIn and I see I have school alumni there. You know, universities are great for building networks with professors, alumni, classmates who might one day hook you up with a job. You never know. Now with the cons corner, everyone agrees, it's super pricey. Getting this education can burn a hole in your wallet. Tuition, living costs, it, it all adds up really, really fast. And it also takes time because earning that degree is a long haul. We're talking four to six years, which is a chunk of time you won't get back. There's also the aspect of curriculum rigidity because sometimes the curriculum can't keep up with the fast-paced tech world as we've seen earlier, leaving some grads playing catch up when they hit the job market. Let's put universities aside and jump on boot camps. On the pros corner, you get job ready skills because it's all about getting you job ready with the skills that are in high demand right now. Think of it as a crash course in tech specialties, right? Boot camps are also time efficient because most programs are like the express train to the job market. They wrap up in just a few months, sometimes a few weeks, so you can start earning sooner. We also can't ignore the lower cost because compared to a four-year degree, boot camps are generally less expensive, much less expensive. You're paying less for a quicker return on investment. And they also offer high intensity. Anyone who went through this program, they would tell you how intense they are. And that helps you get a deep understanding of a specific area quickly. Great. This all sounds good. Let's now explore the cons. First of all, there's a narrow scope, right? This tunnel vision, this, this deep focus on a single skill can be limiting. That's like knowing everything about hammering nails and nothing about the rest of house building process. There's also the lack of theory. Boot camps oftentimes skip the theoretical stuff, which can make things tough when you need to understand more or complex foundational concepts. And in my career, I interviewed a lot of candidates for software engineering roles. Some have, you know, great mastery of specific tools like React, Laravel, Spring Boot, but I see how they struggle when I ask about some underlying concepts like polymorphism, encapsulation, inheritance, or even, you know, a difference between a class and an interface, something that 
if you go to university, you would learn in probably the first year. The lack of theory in computer science is like getting back to hammering nails. It's like me trying to build a cabin in my backyard. I have the tools. I know how to use the hammer, the nails, but I have no idea how to perform a study on the soil to make sure it's safe to build on or what permits do I need to get from the city hall, right? Or, or even how to make sure the cabin has solid foundations so I don't end up with a shaky structure that collapses at the first storm. But I digress. Let's get back to the cons of boot camps. There's also the limited career services aspect. Many boot camps don't offer the same level of career services as universities, which means finding a job afterwards can be more of a solo mission. After weeks of research, here's my summary in regard to long-term career prospects and earning potential. When it comes to university graduates, number one, while they may experience a slower start to their career, they often catch up in terms of positions and salary due to their comprehensive educational background. Number two, those with a traditional degree tend to earn higher salaries with median starting salaries ranging from 50,000 to over 100,000. Number three, university graduates are often sought after for roles that require strong analytical and management skills, which can lead to higher long-term earning potential. On the other hand, bootcamp graduates can quickly enter the job markets in entry-level positions, particularly in the tech industry where there is a high demand for specific skills. But the median salaries for bootcamp graduates seems to range from 30,000 to 60,000, significantly lower than those of university graduates. Even if they have the advantage to enter the job market quickly, their long-term career advancements may be limited by the lack of a broader educational background and credentials. This could potentially cap their earning potential unless they supplement their skills with further education or certifications. Which brings that back to the question I asked you in the introduction. Are computer science degrees still worth it? And the answer is, it depends. <laughs> if you're looking for a well-rounded education that can open doors to a variety of career paths, a traditional university degree might be the way to go. But if you're eager to jump into the tech industry quickly and have a specific career path in mind, Doing a bootcamp or an intensive program could be the right choice for you. But you gotta remember, every technology is but a step to the next one. Is limiting yourself to a single technology the best way to go? I'll let you to be the judge of that. My name is Ilyas. I'm a senior solutions architect. Peace out.